guys um welcome to the witch's chamber my name is anya so you guys um what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do um a love reading for you guys okay let's see um what is happening in your love department i'm hearing some of you guys saying anya what are you talking about you know i have been stuck in the same boat um in the same position in the same place which seems like you know like forever you know things haven't been going anywhere things have been dry you know when it comes to my love life things haven't been happening you know it's like i've been stuck in the same place you're not you know what i mean you guys if this uh, message applies to you if this scenario applies to you know that um if you want if if you want to change you know in your love life if you want things to you know to start moving if you want things to be going somewhere you know in any aspect of your life especially in your love life um you know there's something there's a clear indication that there's something that you need to change within your environment okay you cannot expect you know to have a you know different result if you have been li living your life the same way over and over and over again you know what i mean it's like if you want change if you want things to start to moving there's something that you need to change in your environment and you only yourself will know what that change is for you because you know we, we are all different so so you cannot there's no one specific thing that you know that will apply to everyone you know for some of you guys it is a thought process that needs to be changed you know for others of you is literally your environment it's like you might be you know as an example you might be stuck at work from nine to five and you're expecting to meet your future you know future soulmate you know let's say at 3 p.m at a restaurant well how can you do that if you're being stuck at work you know at that time so that's what I mean. There's something that you need to change in, or in your environment if you want that person to arrive in your life, if you want things to change, if you want things to start moving. You know, you know what I mean, guys? Anyhow, thank you list for listening to my little sermon. I, I feel like there's somebody here who needed to hear that. All right. So you guys, what I want you guys to do right now, okay, is pick a number. Okay, pick a number from 0 to 11. Okay, let's say, let's say that from 0 to 11. Um, you can pick more than one number, you guys, okay? But go with whatever feels um, right for you, okay? All right, you guys? So, let's begin for pile number one, okay? Two, three, and four. Okay. All right, you guys. So, this is going to be your reading. If you have chosen number eight, number four, number eight, nine, or number one, you guys. Okay. So, if you have, uh, guys have chosen any of those numbers okay this is going to be your reading you guys okay um so let's begin you guys let's begin your reading okay now you guys please know that this is um, a general reading so just please take um what resonates for you um and how it resonates with you okay and leave the rest for someone else you guys all right so spirit for our beautiful pile number one whoever has chosen these numbers what message do you have for them what do they need to know what is happening in their love department what is about to happen in their love department um what is the energy surrounding our beautiful pile number one i'm hearing somebody saying you're my number one Okay, I don't know what it means. Let's find out, you guys. Let me put these numbers to the side, you guys, because I need more space for a reading. Okay. Let's begin, you guys. Oh, we have separation. Okay. So, you guys, 
for you guys for some of you guys um separation may be recently happened in your life okay um you know some of you guys feel separated from your person okay but there's a clear indication that right now you are not with your person okay for a lot of you guys, I feel like separation has recently happened and you might be recovering from it still, you know. All right, let's see you guys where this is going. Romantic feelings. Okay. So literally, you guys, for some of you guys, um, you have been separated from your person. You know, you guys may have gone through a breakup recently with the separation card here and you still have the romantic feelings for this person okay that's for some of you guys okay for others of you guys there is a person you have a person in your energy okay with whom you're about to you know come together with whom you're about to meet okay it's like spirit is advising you. It's like you're going to be meeting this person and you're going to start having romantic feelings toward that person. Okay. Right. And, you know, you may be wondering, okay, are my feelings real? Is it, you know, really happening? And spirit is telling you, yes, it is really happening. And whatever you're feeling towards that person is real and worth exploring. Okay. Let's see you guys where this is going. Free yourself. Okay. So some for some of you guys, literally, there's something that you need to free yourself from. Okay. For some of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that you're currently with someone. Okay. That mo may not be the person for you. That somebody that is not right for you. Okay. If this message applies to you guys, then spirit is advising you to free yourself, okay? And there will be separation in the horizon, okay? So if you are unable to free yourself, okay? Spirit is asking you to take back control of your life, okay? Because you need to separate yourself from that energy. You need to separate yourself from that person, okay? Because literally... For some of you guys, some of you guys, you know, maybe feeling like you're stuck, okay? In a particular situation, in a particular relationship, okay? For others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that you're stuck literally in, a, in your negative state, in a negative mindset that you need to free yourself from. It's like you need to separate yourself from those negative, you know, feelings. Okay. Because literally in your energy, there's someone present. Okay. There's someone present here who, whom you're about to meet. And you have to, you know, in order for, you know, for the, you and this person to come together, you have to free yourself from this cage that you currently may be in. Okay. It's like you need to separate yourself. Okay. Okay, it's like spirit is asking you, make the effort, okay? Make the effort to free yourself either from a relationship, from a situation, or from your negative thought pattern, okay? Make the effort, okay? Because that's what really is blocking you, okay? That's what's really what, you know, what is blocking you from meeting that person, okay? For others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that you were about to meet someone, okay? And it's like, because of your, the things that you went through in the past, it's like you're, you know, you will feel blocked against, you know, against this person, you know, and against this love that's coming towards you, you know? It's like there's a certain thing that you need to do with yourself, I'm hearing, Okay, in order for this love to come towards you, it's like work on yourself, spirit is asking you. Okay, 
Whatever happened here in the past with the separation card, let it go. Okay, free yourself from this energy of the past for some of you guys, okay? It's like make the effort because if you want to meet someone new, okay, it's like you need to work on yourself first, okay? Because any type of love, you know, that you come across, any type of person, it's like you need to make the effort, okay? To allow this love into your life, okay? All right. So let's see you guys what the tarot has to say pertaining to this situation. What else do you need to know? Pile number one. Some of you, literally, there has been a separation of somebody that has distanced themselves from you in the past, okay? It's like you guys have been left out in the cold, okay? Possibly by a player type of an energy, okay? Or a person in the past, okay? That's for some of you guys, okay? Let's see you guys, spirit for our beautiful pile number one. What do they need to know? Let's see you guys. Okay. Okay. So we have the three of cups. So there are those of you guys, there are those of you guys who, you know, who are concentrating, you know, on yourselves right now and good for you. Okay. Especially if you guys have gone through, you know, a difficult separation from somebody, you know, um, from somebody that hasn't been your match, you know, a relationship, a situation that hasn't been serving you. Okay. Good for you. If you, you know, if you guys are, you know, going out with your friends, you know, um, having drinks, you know, whatever the case may be, um, concentrating on yourself, wonderful, okay? If you guys are in the energy. And if you aren't, that's what Spirit is advising you, okay? If you recently have gone through a separation of some sort, Spirit is asking you, you know, to start enjoying, you know, your single life. Start to enjoy yourself, you know, put the energy and yourself out there into the world, you know? It's like start going out, start, you know, Start exploring new options, you know. Okay. Let's see you guys where this is going. Yeah. Yeah, for some of you guys, some of you guys, you know, um, it's like you're going out and, you know, you may be having many options, you know. And it's like, you know, I'm single, I'm good, you know. I have many people around me, you know, I'm enjoying myself. For others of you, others of you guys, you literally may be um, confused, you know, as to where your life is going and what you should be doing, you know, pertaining to your love life, you know. It's like, what, where do I go? Like, wh whom do I choose, you know? All right. Let's see you guys where this is going. Mm. Look. Ace of Wands. For some of you guys, literally what I'm seeing here is like you're dating, you know, maybe um, even multiple people, you know, for some of you guys, that's what I'm really picking up on. Okay. And it's like you're enjoying yourself, you know, you're really not attached to anybody, you know, in particular, you know, currently. For others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that you may be confused as to where your life is going or, you know, it's like you don't know what's in your future pertaining to love, you know. It's like, you know, I've met, been meeting people, I've been seeing people, you know, I've been going out, but it's like nothing concrete has been happening, you know, that's what I'm picking up on. But know that with the Ace of Wands here, you guys, there's a brand new beginning, there's a brand new start, something is about to start off, okay? I'm literally, for others of you guys, I'm seeing that, um, that you're about to meet someone, Okay, with whom you're going to feel this intense physical attraction to, 
Okay, it's going to be mutual. Okay. But there's a brand new beginning, you guys, with the Ace of Wands here. Okay. All right. So for, for some of you guys, if you guys have been confused as to, you know, as to whom you, you will choose or whom, you know, which way to go. It's like, I feel like there's a brand new beginning. There's a brand new road that's about to be presented to you. Okay. From spirit. Okay. It's like you will make, finally you will make your, your choice. Okay. As to which way to go, which option to choose. Okay. Let's see you guys. Mm. Okay. For some of you guys, some of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that um, it's like your person, your past person wants to reconcile with you. Okay. That's for some of you guys. There's the energy of the past being present. Okay. So it's like, I feel like your past person, whoever that you have separated from. Okay. It's like they want to come back. Okay. They want, they want a reunion with you, but you're, you're going to be really uncertain as to whether to, you know, to even talk to them, to engage with them. I'm hearing. Okay. It's like, you're going to be in this confused state. Yet for others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that you do want to reconcile with your past person that you have, guys have been in separation from. And you want this brand new beginning. Okay. It's like you have been fantasizing about it. Okay. For some time. Let's see where this is going. Yeah. If, you know, for some of you guys, literally, like you don't know what's going on. Okay. With the two of pentacles. It's like, you may be having too many options, okay, in love. It's like you don't know which way to go. If that, if that scenario applies to you, a decision will be made in the future. It's like you will make, your, you make up your mind and you will make a decision, okay? For, for others of you guys, I feel like this past person wants to reconcile with you. Okay, and it's like you don't know what to do with the two of pentacles, you know. It's like, should I talk to them? Should I let them in? It's like this confused energy here with the seven of cups with you, okay. And it's like, you're not sure, okay, what do I do? But a brand new beginning, a brand new start is happening for you guys. So definitely you will make a decision. Um, either to start something with your past person or to start, you know, to go on a brand new journey with a new person. Okay. So there's, there's, um, a whole bunch of, of different energies that are coming at me. Okay. And the reason why is because there will be many of you watching this segment of the video. Okay. So please take what resonates you guys. But it's like, you will make the, you will make a decision either way. Okay. Because there's a clearly a past energy um, that will be present in your life in the future. It's like day one reconciliation. Okay. And it's like you will need to make a decision. Okay. Hmm. Look, we have the four of wands here. Okay. So this is a clear energy of stability, of family. This is also a card of a twin flame. Okay, so for some of you guys, literally, there's a comeback of a twin flame. Okay, there's a return of a twin flame in, in your life or into your life. And it's like you're not going to be certain what to do. Okay, about it. Okay. For others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that you have actually never met this person. Okay. Okay. It's like they're going to come to your life. It's like you're single, you know, you're good. You're out going out with your friends. You're enjoying yourself. And all of a sudden, you know, this person literally pops up like this guy here that's underneath the cloak here in the seven of cups card, right? It's like this, this person is going to pop out of nowhere, right? Appearing in your life and you're going to be like, okay, what do I do? You know?
where it's like a decision you will you will be needing to make some sort of a decision in the future okay and it's pertaining to your brand new life to your stability to your security to your home life okay and it's like you're gonna be confused like what do i do okay But there's a strong energy, you guys, of freeing yourself from something, okay? For some of you guys, literally, this is your thought pattern that needs to be released, your negative thought pattern, okay? For others of you, it's I need to, to release, you know, this confusion. It's like you need to decide what it is that you want, okay? Because it's like, how can you meet this person? How do you, how, you know... How can you meet them if you're unsure what, you know, what it is that you want, you know? We have the seven of swords here. So literally, I, you know what I'm seeing here? You guys need to free yourself from this negative thought pattern, from this um, sneaky energy, okay? This sabotaging and energy with the seven of swords, okay? Because for a lot of you guys, I feel like a lot of you guys are literally sabotaging yourself, you know. And that a, ha, a lot has to do with your past, okay. What you have been through, okay. It's like you guys need to release yourself from this energy, from the Seven of Swords energy, okay. Because not everybody's a backstabber, not everybody's a liar, okay. Not everybody's going to take away from you, okay. Right. For some of you guys, literally, there is a brand new person coming towards you. Okay. You will very well meet this person, maybe at some sort of a gathering, some sort of a get together. It's like this person is going to pop out like out of the blue. Okay. You know, and it's like, you know, like spirit is offering you a brand new, you know, a brand new life. But it's like, you're going to be okay. Like, what do I do? You know? Like, the, there's a clear an, an indication of stability, of home, of longevity with this individual. There's a strong past life soulmate energy present, okay? And it's like, what do I do? And for others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy that, okay, you guys have been, you know, in separation from a person, Okay. And it's like they're trying to, you know, to resurface back in your life, you know. Wanting possibly, you know, stability, longevity with you and, and, and you're going to be like, okay, what do I do here? Like, what do they want from me, you know? Listen, you guys, if this is someone, okay, if this message applies to you, if this is someone who has been lying, stealing, cheating in the past, okay? Spirit is asking you to let go of them, okay? Do not engage with them, okay? All right, you guys, so this was your reading. Um, I hope you guys have resonated with these messages. Um, I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance. All the best, and I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. Bye. All right, you guys, so um, now, if, one second, you guys, I'm just doing something. All right, so if you guys have chosen these numbers, 11, 10, 6, or 7. Wow. Look at these numbers, you guys. I have just chosen them for you. Look, 11, 10, 6, 7. So for some of you guys, literally, like, you, in your love life, you have been feeling like you have taken two steps forwards and two steps back, you know? For some of you guys, things have been going backwards. For others of you guys, things have been going forward, you know? There's definitely two types of energies present in this particular pile, in this particular reading. 
Okay. For some of you guys, I'm literally um, feeling that in one area of your life is like things have been going, going backwards and in other area um, things have been going forward. It's like there's clearly an instability here. Okay. But anyhow, um, I don't want to get into the numerology reading. I want to get to your love reading, you guys. So let's see. Spirit, talk to us for beautiful pile number two. What do they need to know about their love life and their love department? Um, where things are heading, what they can expect, what it is that they need to know. Okay. Let's see you guys. Okay, one more shuffle, Spirit told me, so okay. All right, you guys. Let's begin your reading. What it is that you need to know. What is coming towards you. Let's begin, you guys. Trust. Okay. So there's definitely a situation in your life where spirit is asking you to have trust. Okay. To have trust in a particular process, in a particular situation in your love life. Okay. So, if you guys have given up on love, because that's the energy that I'm really picking up for some of you guys. Spirit is asking you to have faith, to have trust, okay? There's a reason why things are the way they are, okay? Have faith, have trust, okay? Trust the process, trust yourself, you guys, okay? Wedding, wow. Situation involves marriage. So for some of you guys, literally, um, some of you guys may already be married. Okay. If that's the case, you guys, if you guys are married, okay, or involved with someone, you know, in a long-term relationship, um, you need to have faith. You need to have trust. Okay. For some of you guys, I'm literally feeling that you may have, you know, you may be in a long-term relationship and you're wondering whether... A wedding will ever take place between you guys and spirit is advising you and telling you yes yes your relationship is heading toward marriage but it's like you need to have trust okay you need to have trust in the process okay don't rush it that's what i'm hearing from spirit okay doesn't matter whatever the case if you guys are single you're about to meet someone okay um, an individual that's going to lead um, to marriage. Okay. That's re really what I'm picking up on. For some of you guys, literally, some of you guys may not be feeling that this um, thing may lead to marriage. And the answer is yes, it will lead to marriage. It's just like you need to have faith, you need to have trust. Okay. All right, let's see you guys what else. Chemistry, wow. So definitely for some of you guys, if you guys are single, okay? If you guys are single, you're about to meet someone with whom you're going to have a very intense chemical attraction with, okay? All right. It's like someone, you know, someone who is going to pursue you. There's someone here, okay, who's going to go after you because I'm literally seeing like this is being, you know, you know, you being the Red Riding Hood and this other person being the wall. So, like, they're going to pursue you. They're going to go after you. Okay. And it, it will lead to a marriage. Okay. Because the situation involves marriage, you guys. Okay. If that scenario applies to you. Okay. Let's see what else, you guys. Express your love. Wow. Okay, so Spirit is telling you that it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to express your feelings towards this person, okay? Whoever they are, okay? You may, may never have met them yet, but that's what's happening in the future, okay? It's like it's safe. And have trust in the process because for some of you guys, literally I'm picking up on the energy that you guys have been stuck in the same boat in the same place, okay? 
it seems like forever and spirit is asking you to have faith because you're about to meet someone with whom you're going to have a very intense attraction with okay it's going to be a very strong chemistry between you guys okay and spirit's telling you express your love so it is safe for you to love this person it is safe for you to express your love to this person to express your interest to this person because it involves marriage right so it's like, this is your person. This is the person that you're supposed to marry. This is the person that you're supposed to spend your life with. Okay. There's also, I feel, a strong need for, to, you know, to communi of communication because we have blue here. See, this guy's gown is blue and we have a blue dress here on this feminine energy here. So I feel there's, you guys going to have, you know, you guys are going to share a lot of good communication together. There's going to be, you know, mutual understanding. There's going to be mutual exchange of opinions. There's going to be, um, you're going to have a good conversation with this person, okay? It's like you're going to be able to express yourself with this person, okay? It's like you're not going to be holding anything back. You know what I mean? That's what I'm really feeling, okay? Not only are you going to have the chemical physical passionate attraction with this red dress here but it also is going to be a lot of emotions a lot of conversations so it's like a yin to the yang energy you know what i mean fire water you know that's really what i'm seeing so you you might be um You might be um, a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, or Sag doesn't have to be. And your person might be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, you guys, the case, but it's like a yin to the yang energy. That's really what I'm seeing, okay? Yes, look, I, I just noticed it. Look, this guy has red cloak, right? A red shirt. This And she has a red dress. Now, on the other hand, when you flip it, this guy has blue, blue, blue dress, and she has a blue dress. So it's like a yin to the yang. You guys like you guys will be mirroring each other. See what I mean? Wow. There's gonna be equal amount of passion. An equal amount of emotional chemistry. That's really what I'm seeing here. Wow. So you guys, this is this is pretty amazing. It's like blue color and then red color. Wow. Oh my goodness. You're about to meet your match, you guys. I'm telling you, you're about to meet your match. If you're single, okay, you're about to meet your match. Okay. So you guys, let's see what Tarot has to say. Let's see what else Tarot wants to tell us. What it is that you need to know, you guys. Ooh, what is this? Let me see it. Wow. It's like you're going to leave your past behind, you guys. Look, you can look towards your future, you guys, literally. I have three of wands here. Okay. It's like you've been waiting for your ships to arrive and they're about to arrive. Let me tell you. Okay. Let's see, you guys. Let us see what it is that is happening with you guys. What does spirit wants to tell us it's like your judgment day is coming okay yes you guys let us see let's see what's happening in your love department you guys wow okay yes for some of you guys literally like you guys have been overburdened by you know, your past events, circumstances, you guys may be working too much currently, okay, as a side note, you may have too many burdens, too many, you know, too many things going on, okay. For us of you guys, you literally, you're carrying so, so much energy from your past that you should let go, okay, that's really what spirit is telling you, okay. And asking you to do is let let go. Okay. Let go of your past lessons, of your past karmic lessons with your past partners, okay? It's like half trust, half trust that your person is coming because they are coming. Like literally, look at these cards, you guys. Okay. 
wow you have the five of changes coming you guys definitely five talk about changes okay for some of you guys literally like you guys have you know in the past you guys have experienced a lot of fights a lot of issues that has really put you down you know that has really kept you down it's like some of you guys literally you guys do not have trust you know it's like you're telling me, Anya, how can I trust, you know, this new person or this new love if I have gone through so much stuff with other people, you know? All right. Let's see, you guys, where this is going. Yes, you might be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be the case. But there's unconditional love, you guys, here with the Queen of Cups, okay? There's unconditional true love, okay? For a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, you guys have been fighting with your emotions, you know? There's something you guys clearly that's been burdening you, that has been on your mind, that has been weighing heavily on your mind, okay? It's like you need to release it. Do not fight with your feelings. Do not fight with yourself, you know? Because there's clearly someone here, okay? That is present in your energy. That wants to get to know you, okay? That wants to be with you. But it's like you need to have trust and faith, okay? For some of you guys, if you guys are married, this is the energy I'm picking up on. If you guys are married and you guys have gone into a fight... have gone into a fight, got into an argument, okay? And this argument has been wait, waiting very heavily on you, okay? Spirit is asking you to have trust, to have faith, okay? Because all is not lost, okay? Because there's unconditional love here, okay? There's love present, okay? If this scenario applies to you, if you guys are actually married, okay? When you guys got into a fight... And it's been waiting very heavily on you. Know that that there's still uncon there's unconditional love. Okay, so th this is something that you guys can overcome. Okay, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay, now let's see what else you guys need to know. Wow, there's walking away. For some of you guys, literally, you guys will decide to walk away. Okay, from this marriage. Because a lot of things have happened. Yet for others of you, I'm picking up on the energy that you do need to walk away from your negative thinking. From your, from these burdens of your past. Okay, It's like you need to remove yourself and have trust. Okay, Because the right person is coming, you guys. I mean, we see it here, right? But it's like you will drop these burdens. You walk. Wa you will walk away from these negative thought patterns, from this negative situation, whatever it happens to be for you. Okay. It's like you'll be walking away from the things that no longer serve you. Okay. That's the bottom line, you guys. Let's see. Yes. So you will. You will clearly. You will make a decision. Okay. Decision will have to be made. Okay. For some of you guys, it's like you guys have been, you know, like I said before, you know, you guys have so much going on in your life. You guys so much, so many things on your plate. Okay. It's like you have been juggling too many things and spirit is asking you to let go of the things that no longer serve you. Okay. But there's something here that you will be walking away from either way, you know. Doesn't matter if you're involved with somebody or not, okay? Because you, there's a decision that needs to be made, okay? Yeah, look. Yes, for that's the energy I'm picking up on. Like, you guys have, you know, you guys have too many things going on, you know? 
too many things, too many options, too many things in your life, you know, doesn't re relate to love. And it's like, you know, it's like for some of you guys, some of you guys may tell me, okay, Anya, how can, you know, I don't have time for love, you know? It's like I have too much stuff going on in my life, you know? Yet for others of you guys, I'm picking up on the energy. If you do want love, then you need to release the things that are no longer serving you. Okay? It's like, I know I'm repeating myself, but that's what's really what's happening. It's like too many things are going on here. Right? We have the seven of cups, a lot of options, a lot of things. Right? We have the ten of wands here. Again, a very big burden that you've been carrying, you know? It's like you've been fighting, you know, maybe with other people, with yourself, as to, you know, as to these things that are going on in your life, you know? That doesn't necessarily have to do with love, you know? It's like you need to, if you want love, you, there's things that you need to release yourself from. There's things that you need to walk away from. that are no longer serving you, okay? For others of you guys, there's a need to let go and remove the confusion in your life, you know? It's like what it is that you want, you know? Do you want love? Then make time for love, you know? Set your priorities straight. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay, set your priorities straight because there are too many things going on right now, you know, in your life. Okay, and there are things that you need to let go of. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, there's clearly someone that has been keeping a tabs on you. There's someone here that has their eye on you. There's someone here who wants to get to know you, who's been maybe looking you up online, um, you know, seeing what you've been up to, okay? But it's like allow this person to come forward, you know? With the page of swords here. Expects for some sort of a communication coming in, Okay. Because you guys are deserving of love, like seriously. Okay. And whoever this new person is that's coming into your life, if you guys are single, give them a chance, you know. Express your love. Trust the process, you know. But there's definitely, you guys, something in your life, in this group, you know, specifically. There's something that you need to let go of. It's like you need to make a decision, you know. For some of you guys, it's the let go of the confusion, so decide what it is that you want, you know. For others of you guys, you guys need to remove the things that are no longer serving you because you guys have taken on too much in your life, you know. It's like there's no, you know, there's no um, space for love, you know. So if you want love, you guys, then you have to make space for it. And number two, you need to know what it is that that, that you want, you know. All right, you guys. So, yes, you guys, um, this was your reading. Um, I hope you guys have resonated um, with these messages. Um, I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance, all the best, and health. And I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, you guys. So, if you guys have chosen number two, number five, number zero, and number three, okay, this is going to be your reading, okay? So definitely you guys, change is happening, okay? For some of you guys, some of you guys are about to start from scratch. Your love life from scratch, you guys, okay? From zero, okay? There's a brand new beginning coming towards you, okay? Somebody that will want to come together with you, wants to work with you, and wants to be your partner, okay? Let's see you guys what it is that you need to know. Okay, now please guys, I um, know that this is a general reading, so just please take what resonates for you and how it relates, relates to your overall um, situation, okay? So let's see you guys what is what is happening um, in your love department, you guys, okay? Let's see what it is that you need to know. Let, let's see what, um, what Spirit wants to 
tell you guys. Um, let's see what is what is coming towards you guys. All right, let's begin. Spirit for beautiful pile number three. What do, it is that they need to know? Okay, let's start, you guys. Mm. Okay, so for some of you guys, literally, there are children involved. So you may have children. Your you know, your future partner may have children, um, but there's definitely children that will be coming at play in this relationship for you guys, okay? For some of you guys, some of you guys literally are concentrating on your children, you know, right now. It's like your children have, you know, are playing a major factor in your life and you, you know, you're, you may not have time, you know, necessarily for, you know, for new love. Okay, it's like children are currently maybe dictating your life, you know, and it's like, how am I, you know, how am I going to meet someone if I, you know, if I'm taking care of my, you know, small kids, you know, as an example. But children will be playing a major factor in your love life, okay? Doesn't matter if you have children or not, okay? Let's see you guys. Keep an open mind, okay? So, yes, Spirit is asking you to keep an open mind, you know? Just because you have kids, as an example, doesn't mean, you know, you're done with love, you know? <laughs> literally you know that's for some of you guys that's what i'm really picking up on okay and it's like for others of you guys if you guys are single and you don't have kids okay then what i'm really picking up on is your future partner has kids okay and it's like spirit is asking you to keep an open mind just because this person has kids does not mean you know that they're off limits or you know whatever the case may be because for some of you guys some of you guys may be feeling like okay you know um, I don't want somebody who has kids, you know, that's for some of you guys. That's the energy I'm picking up on. But spirit is like asking you, you know, keep an open mind, you know, just because this person has kids, you know, does not mean that, you know, that they're not deserving of love, you know, of your love. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. It's like keep an open mind. Okay. Because this person may be, you know, Someone that you normally wouldn't date is a person that someone that, that you wouldn't normally consider seeing or dating, you know, or being in a relationship with. Because maybe they have kids, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Okay. It's like keep an open mind. Okay. Soulmate, because this is your soulmate, you guys. <laughs> you know, that they may look different, act different than the person that you would normally date, but spirit, you know. But Spirit is asking you to keep an open mind because this is your soulmate. This is your person. This is the person that you're supposed to be with, you know. Doesn't matter if they have kids or not. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, you guys. Honeymoon. Okay. So literally this, um, this person... That you're about to meet if you're single, okay? They might be living at a distance, okay? Um, I'm really getting Italy vibe here. Rome, Italy. Um, you know, it's like this person may be living in Europe, okay? That's for some of you guys. It's really what I'm picking up. It doesn't have to be Italy specifically, but that's what I'm really getting here. Um, it's like this person may be, um, for some of you guys, living at a distance, okay? Like spirit is asking you, keep an open mind, you know, be open towards this person because this is your person. Okay. Doesn't matter if they have kids, you have kids, you know, this is someone you, that the bottom line, you guys, this is someone that you are supposed to be with. Okay. This is your person. Okay. Regardless of their circumstances, regardless of the situation. That's what I'm really picking up for you guys. Okay. Um, because you guys will enjoy each other you guys for a lot of you guys there's travel involved okay so you guys will be traveling a lot with this person okay okay for others of you guys i'm really picking up on the energy that for your honeymoon okay you guys will be going to italy that's what i'm really picking up on i don't know why but yes all right, so let's see you guys what Tarot has to say about all this. Okay. 
what else do you need to know um let's see you guys where this is going spirit please talk to us what does our beautiful pile number three need to know look you guys we have your four of wands this is your person you guys if you guys are single this may even be your twin flame you know that's coming towards you that you're about to meet okay it's like keep your keep an open mind okay a lot of you guys a lot of you guys you know have been heartbroken in the past you know by your past person look you guys have the ten of pentacles this is stability longevity long term commitment that's coming towards you guys okay literally okay keep an open mind You might be a Pisces, dealing with a Pisces doesn't have to be the case. All right, Spirit, talk to us. Okay, let's begin, you guys. Wow, look, there's a brand new beginning, you guys, right off the bat, okay? So if you have children, you don't feel like, you know, your person is coming. It's like you don't feel like you're going to meet anybody else. Well, guess what? You're wrong, okay? I'm going to tell you right off the bat. You're wrong. There's a brand new beginning. Okay. A passion. Look, I have a one and here's a one here. Brand new passionate beginning, you guys. Coming towards you. Okay. All right. So keep an open mind, you know. Be open. Be receptive. Okay. Do not close yourself off. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Okay. Yeah. And so you guys, like, you're going to be in this undecisive energy. Like, what do I do? Okay. It's like you meet this person, you know. It's like... Initially, you might feel like they're not your type. You guys may be, you know, juggling your thought pattern. Like, what do I do? How do I proceed with this, you know? Do I want this brand new beginning if, you know, if I have kids, you know? Like, will I have the time, you know, for this person, you know? But Spirit is asking you to keep an open eye because this is your person. This is your soulmate, okay? So there's definitely, you guys, some sort of a decision that you will make, need to make once you meet this individual, once this brand new beginning starts for you, okay? Wow. Let's see, you guys. Wow. Are you kidding me? We have the soulmate energy card. We have the lover's card here. This is your person, you guys. You might be a Gemini. You might be dealing with a Gemini. But there's clearly, for some of you guys, though, you will need to make a choice. There's clearly an indication of choice we have. Two of Pentacles and the Lovers can also indicate a choice. So definitely for some of you guys, you will need to make a choice once you meet this individual. Okay. Because it, like there's a strong indication of children here. It's like you're going to be like, what do I do here? Is this the right person for me? Is this the right person for my kids? You know? It is the right person, you guys. I'm telling you off the bat, it is the right person because we have the soulmate energy here we have the lover's energy this is your, to your soulmate your twin flame please take it how it resonates okay keep an open mind you guys okay wow temperance you might be a sagittarius you might be dealing with a sagittarius for some of you guys literally this new beginning has taken a very long time it's like you guys have been stuck in the same may be stuck in the same energy you know it seems like forever you know but something is alchemizing for you. See, like the angel is alchemizing two cups here. Okay. It's like spirit is bringing you this person. Okay. Spring is bringing you this person. For a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have been, you know, single for a very long time. Maybe with kids, you know, without having any hope that you will ever meet, you know, your soulmate, your twin flame. The answer is yes, you guys. You guys will meet your soulmate, your twin flame. It's on the horizon, okay? Keep an open mind. Be open, be receptive, okay? Towards this love, towards this person, okay? It's like for some of you guys, some of you guys have been waiting literally for this person. It's like, where's my person? Why have they been, you know? But a brand new beginning is on the horizon. Spirit, angels, ancestors are alchemizing this union for you guys, okay? Wow. Look, you guys, there's that strong energy of a decision. Wow. It's like you're not seeing this person coming. It's like for some of you guys, literally, you guys may have your heart blocked away from this love. You have the two of swords here. Okay. 
It's like you may have your energy blocked off from love altogether. Okay. For some of you guys, some of you guys will literally block yourself off from this person. Okay. It's like spirit is asking you, please, please, please have an open mind. Okay. Do not block yourself off from this love, from this union that's about to come into your life. Okay. It's like, okay, children might be involved. There's, if you're single and you have no kids, okay, you know what? You may, may be in the energy, okay, you know what? I don't want this person. I don't want this love because, you know, they want kids. And I, you know, I want kids with this person. I don't want this person to have, you know, kids with someone else. If that applies to you, you guys, okay? Then person is asking you to, again, to keep an open mind, okay? Because it doesn't mean just because this person has kids. It does not mean... That this person's not going to love you does not mean that this person is going to put all the energy under their kids. No, it does not mean that, okay? Because this person is very good with their kids, okay? That's what I'm really picking up on, okay? This person is really good with their kids. They know how to take care of their kids, okay? Therefore, this person is a good partner, okay? This is someone who you can rely on. This is your person, Okay? Do not block yourself off, but there's a strong energy of decision here with these three cards. We have the two of pentacles, we have the two of swords, we have the lovers, which can also indicate a choice, okay? Or a decision. For a lot of you guys, you guys will need to make a decision, a major decision I'm hearing, okay? Because for some of you guys, if this person lives at a distance, okay? This person lives at a distance, like you will need to decide what to do. It's like, can I... You know, can I work this out with this person? How are we going to, what are we going to do? How, you know, am I going to move to their place? Are they going to move into my place? You know, like there's definitely a choice and a decision that you guys will need to make. Okay. But it's like spirit is asking you to keep an open mind. Okay. Yeah. You guys might be dealing with Pisces. You might be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be the case. For some of you guys, literally, there's an energy you have. Guys have been stuck in the same position, in the same boat, which seems like for a very long time with the hangman here. Okay. And it's like you will gain, you will need to gain a different perspective. And you will gain a different perspective. Okay. It's like with this keep an open mind card here in this hangman, it's like you guys will gain a new perspective on a person okay because initially you know initially they you may you may feel like it's not your person okay but after time once you get to know them okay once you give this person a chance okay you will gain a totally different perspective about them with the hangman here okay So literally, if you guys have been stuck in the same position where things haven't been going anywhere, where you haven't met anyone, it's like things, you will no longer be in that hangman position. Okay, it's like you're no longer going to be stuck. Okay, you're going to be released from it. Okay, from this burden, from whatever it happens to be for you. Okay. It's like once you make this decision... You're going to be released from something that no longer serves you. Okay. Let's see you guys. We have the page of swords here. All right. So I, I believe the second pile got the same energy as the overall arching. So definitely um, there's somebody that either you are keeping an eye on or this person is currently keeping an eye on you. Okay. But it's like this person is about to come forward, okay? This person may have been looking you up, may have been looking at your pictures online, on your profile, okay? It's like this brand new beginning is about to start. See, the Ace of Wands is like right now, okay? This is in your energy, okay? Things are about to start moving, okay? You're about to meet your soulmate, okay? But really, there's a major decision coming your way. There's a major choice that you will need to make once this person comes forward, okay? But it is your person, you guys. I'm telling you off the bat, okay? Don't, you, don't even question that, okay? Keep an open mind. 
Okay. But we know what I'm really feeling, you guys, is like go with your gut, whatever feels right for you internally, okay? Because I know for some of you guys, children are involved, okay? And you need to think about your children, yes. But it's like, you know, I'm hearing in the right time, you will have an enlightenment. You will know what to do, okay? That's really what I'm feeling here for some of you, okay? Do not worry, do not stress yourself out too much. Okay, that's also what I'm hearing from spirit, okay? Because I know there might be, this decision might be very difficult. It's like you may not know what to do, okay? Once you meet this person, once this person comes forward, okay? But it's like you will gain new knowledge, okay? Spirit, okay, is here to help you, okay? But literally, you guys will gain a different perspective about this whole situation, about this person, okay? All right, you guys? So, yes, um, this was your reading, you guys. I hope you guys have resonated um, with these messages, okay? I'm wishing you guys peace, love, and abundance. Um, all the best. And I'm going to talk to you guys very soon. Thank you so much.